to the park, can you only walk or run? Today, I want to take you to experience the nature in another way. But we have to keep our voices down. For today, there will be a series of invitations given to all of you. So when I say invitations, it's like how you and your body actually interpret this invitation without any right, judgment, all right? There's no right or wrong way of doing these invitations. Forest bathing was actually started in the 1980s in Japan. So forest bathing in Japan simply means Shinrin Yoku. Yeah, so to basically bathe in the atmosphere of nature. I invite you to hear the sounds that are very close to you. You know, because sometimes uh, we are always moving in a very fast-paced society and, uh, you know, we don't pause. So forest bathing actually gives you the kind of relaxation, for you to relax in the forest and also to slow down. The most important is really being very present in the space and really using the senses, you know, the sense of sight, the sense of smell, you know, the sense of sound, you know, we can actually literally hear the, the little sound even in the forest, like some of them actually shed, like they heard the cricket, like the birds chirping. So today I felt more uh, at ease and at peace, yeah, with nature, felt more connected to myself and also with nature. It was actually drizzling just now, so when we first started the event, we were actually doing in the rain. But in the midst of the event, the sun started to come out. So I'm actually very grateful that we were able to experience both different weathers, be it rain or shine. It's just like our life, right? I think it's also a good way to have this space and time to spend moments with nature, connect with nature and also rest our mind. Hi Clara, I know that the forest bathing event just now is actually part of the Rest is Productive series which is organised by HYC recently. Yes. And so whenever we think of rest, right, actually one song will come into my mind. Today I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> yes, I know that song. <laughs> I just want to lay in my bed, right? Yes. Don't come and disturb me that kind. Yes. Yeah, so can you tell us more about this series and what do you mean by Rest is Productive? Okay, I think in the typical world, we're very fast-paced, we're very frantic and very rushed, right? And most of us actually don't know how to rest. So like you said, the song just now, when we yes. think of rest, we just think of lying on our beds, using our phone, watching Netflix. Yeah. But usually when we do those activities, we don't end up feeling recharged or well-rested. Then I came across this concept called the seven types of rest by this physician and author called Dr. Sandra Dalton-Smith says that there are seven different types of rest we need to get which is sensory rest, creative, social, emotional, mental, spiritual, physical rest. Yeah, and the reason why we wanted to call it rest is productive is to help people redefine what it really means to be productive. A lot of people think of productivity as the number of hours you sit at your desk. Yes. Even though your work quality may draw, you may feel like a zombie, you can't think clearly, right? So we want to show people that rest and self-care is a part of productivity because sometimes you just need to step away from your desk in order to think better and to do your best work.
So that is why we are doing this Rest is Productive series to teach everyone to take care of yourselves for your mental health mm -hmm. and so that you can go out into the world and do amazing things. Actually, rest is not about just lying in the bed. Quality rest is the most important thing because rest is to walk longer distance. So whenever you feel tired, remember to stop, sort out your body and mind before setting off. If you like this video, please give us a like and also share it to your friends and family. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.